Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video. Before I get into the topics of this video, I just want to say I hope you had a Merry Christmas and I hope you had a happy 2018. This is officially my first video of 2018. Now I know I didn't upload, you know, the last about two months of 2018 or 2017, sorry. And the reason for that was basically because, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I had nothing to upload in the last two months or so for 2017. But, uh, 2018 just started, uh, currently when I'm recording this, the day before my birthday, hopefully I can record or upload this the same day, uh, and recently, there's a lot of news, uh, that I, you know, it's been going on on YouTube and whatnot, and the first thing I want to get into, which is obviously the title of this video, recently so the Sony Pictures uh, Entertainment official YouTube channel released a trailer for a movie called Slenderman. If you don't know what Slenderman is, it's a first-person horror game that was popular around 2011 and 2012. It was all over YouTube back then. And it's not very popular anymore, but, you know, some people still happen to like it. I watched the trailer. I'm not doing a reaction for it because I am excited for the film, but not as excited as I was for Infinity War. However, the trailer, I must say, does look very good, and a, a lot of people had mixed emotions. Some people thought it was very good, others thought it was terrible, and I'll get into why right now. Now, the reason why people thought it was terrible was because we, didn't, we only saw Slender Man a total of one time in the whole trailer. I very much liked that, as a matter of fact. I thought that was really good because... As long as they don't reveal, you know, the antagonist Slender Man in the trailer, I think it's a good trailer because it leaves you uh, wondering how the how is he gonna look in the movie, and hopefully they don't reveal how he looks in any of the trailers because it would kind of suck. But I'm most likely only gonna watch this first trailer, which I already did. That's probably the only one I'm gonna watch because I managed to do a good job with uh, Last Jedi. Uh, I managed to do a good job of getting away from the trailers and TV spots and whatnot. Anyways, um, the one time that we do see Slender Man, uh, he does look very cool. Now, you don't see him very much. He's in there for like a second, so you do have to like slow down the video. But once you do, you can just pause it and see how he looks. And from what we see in the trailer, he doesn't look exactly accurate. But we all know that in the trailers, they tend to change stuff and whatnot. We've seen this with Spider-Man Homecoming. Uh, we've seen this with other movies as well where they show like certain scenes and it ends up being different in the trailer or in the movie. But uh, the Slender Man movie does show us more of, uh, it tells us a missing person and then shows us all these people like psychologically going crazy because of the Slender Man. Because they've either seen him or because Slender Man's affecting them somehow, which isn't very much explained in the trailer. The reason why I think it's a good trailer is because it doesn't reveal Slender Man that much. We only, again, we only see him for one second in the whole trailer. And in that one second, he does look terrifying. I have uh, a lot of hope going towards this film because a Slender Man film is something I've actually kind of wanted since like 2013, 2012, around that time. But now that it's coming out in 2017, I'm not very excited for it. I'm not a big fan of Slender Man anymore. But I, I'm so kind of excited for this film. I'm probably going to go check it out in the theaters. I'm not sure because there's a bunch of Marvel films also coming out in 2018. And it's going to be kind of crazy to see all those films. Especially also with Jurassic World 2. So also in other news, um, on December 31st of 2017, you know, it was the last, it was New Year's Eve and whatnot. We thought it was going to be a good New Year's Eve. And it, it was for most of us, for me, uh, my family, a lot of people, a lot of YouTubers, except uh, one person on YouTube decided to ruin it all. And I'm not going to go too in-depth with this because I might make another video, uh, like a whole video on this. But uh, on December 31st, 2017, Logan Paul uploaded a daily vlog to his channel. Except this time, they went to the Suicide Forest in Japan. And they ended up finding something that they shouldn't have uploaded, but he still did. And he, what he found was, in fact, a hanging dead body. Somebody had suicide. Somebody had committed suicide just earlier, uh, before they got there. And he recorded close-ups of the body, which was the most disturbing part, because you don't really do that. 
the moment you see a dead body, you kind of just call the authorities and just head the, uh, the way you came from. But, no. He noticed it, and him and his friends, they all got closer to the body, and he took the camera up close to the body and examined it and whatnot. And he did a pretty bad job at blurring out the face of the body. But they did end up calling the authorities, and uh, a laugh, or a mechanism that Logan Paul used, uh, you know, uh, to cope with this uh, tragedy, or this suicide, uh, he started laughing. Him and his friends. They started laughing. Uh, some of them couldn't believe that they found a dead body. But Logan Paul was laughing, and uh, once they did call the authorities, he was just laughing still and whatnot and it was crazy there was really no reason why he should have uploaded that and a bunch of youtubers went off on him on twitter uh you can see that in the drama alert video that keemstar uploaded on logan paul there was a bunch of youtubers you know just bashing logan paul for this in my opinion i think logan paul shouldn't have uploaded that video he should uh I don't know what he expected to see, because clearly he went over there to look for a dead body. I mean, he wasn't just going over there for like an overnight challenge or, or a camping in Suicide Force video. He knew he was going to find a body, but he didn't know when. And he still uploaded the video with close-ups, which is even worse. Now, some people are saying, it's a small mistake, we all make mistakes. Yes, this is true. But... You don't go up to a body and just record it and examine it. If you're going to examine it, you turn all the cameras off. This is like invading somebody's privacy. You're recording a dead body for crying out loud. And Tanner Fox on Twitter said that there's a bunch of videos on YouTube of dead bodies and whatnot. Yes, this is also true. This is a reason for the adpocalypse that happened about a year ago. What Basically, yes, there's videos of dead bodies on YouTube, but... They don't come up on people's recommended, and people don't watch it as much. You know, some people, and Logan, keep this in mind, Logan Paul has a fan base of children. Uh, from around 8 to maybe 14 years old. And he still uploaded a video of a dead body. I mean, for kids that are like below 10, that can, dis that can like, stay stuck in their head for a long time. I... Had no problem with the video. I saw it. My brother saw it. He showed me the video, and I thought it was uploaded like a long time ago, but I found out it was uploaded just recently. And it's just crazy that he uploaded the video. That's mainly the thing that pissed me off. He examined the body and uploaded the video, which is dumb. He shouldn't have done that. But I mean, you can't just hate on him just for that. You can't just give him a re. You can't just say that's a reason to get him off of YouTube because I mean, I know the Paul brothers. They've done a lot of bad stuff in 2017, mostly Jake Paul. Oh, God, yeah, we can get rid of him, but Logan Paul did this. It is one mistake, but it's a very big mistake, a mistake that he should at least have consequences for. Now, the biggest uh, problem I have with the situation is that this video of Logan Paul finding a dead body, Madden should get to the trending page. And Logan Paul up, uh, posted a, you know, apology on Twitter, and he only said the word sorry once in that apology, and he mentioned himself 27 times. And the whole apology he posted on Twitter was 220 words. So, that doesn't really tell you that he was apologizing, he was more regretting his actions. And he posted a whole video on YouTube about, like, called So Sorry, I believe. It's on trending as well, it's number one right now in America, or in California, I mean. And... You know, yeah, he sounds very, like, sad and depressing in that video, but the thing is that he, uh, he's an actor, he can act, you know, you, you can't know if that's a legitimate apology or not, and it, it's just hard to explain, you know, we don't have all the facts, like, we don't know the exact reason why he uploaded the video, maybe he wanted views, maybe he wanted something to happen, I don't know, but it, you don't really upload something like that. Which is the main reason why you don't see many YouTubers who go to Suicide Forest. They don't show, like, dead bodies. Because they know that what's happened in Logan Paul will happen to them. But many people went throughout 2017. A lot of people went to Suicide Forest. A lot of YouTubers. And not one of them found a dead body. Except for Logan Paul. And 
Logan Paul, being the genius he is, decided to upload a video of that dead body. Also, uh, what ha what was uploaded, uh, a picture on Instagram, and maybe Twitter, I don't have Twitter anymore, but a picture of, on Instagram was posted by the NECA official page, and this is more for toy collectors such as myself, and it was the first image reveal of the NECA Ultimate Pennywise action figure from the IT 2017 movie. In case you don't know, NECA has the rights to the IT, you know, film to make action figures of that. So far, they've only shown us a picture of Pennywise of a prototype from the back. They haven't announced if they're going to make any of the kids, such as Bill, Georgie, and whatnot. They haven't announced or confirmed if they're going to make any figures of that. But hopefully they do, because I would like to have, you know, the whole cast in action figure form. Just make it really cool for a collection on my shelf. And another thing I want to say is, uh, I'm going to try and upload a lot more this year in 2018, because I know I did a really bad job in 2017. And that's mainly for the fact that I didn't have much to record, and I haven't uploaded a lot of the reviews I made for my uh, for my Christmas haul. Or I got a bunch of action figures. I got the uh, Mezco Reverse Flash, which is very cool. I got the Mafex Armored Batman back here, which is aw awesome. And I got the SH Figuarts Tony Stark, and I got a couple other figures. I got some Star Wars Black Series and whatnot. I made reviews, but I have yet to upload them. And I'm also working on scripts for upcoming stop motions. One of them being Iron Man, the other one being Batman. It's kind of an origin story for Batman. Iron Man, he's been Iron Man for quite a while. And uh, a lot of that's going to go to my... Uh, my channel where I review toys and upload stop motions on there. This video is going to go on both channels, but because most of this is for my main channel, uh, Comic Book Geek, and my other channel will also get this video, obviously. Um, now, something I do want is f to get more subscribers this year because we didn't get 1,000 by the end of 2017. Uh, which I don't really expect since I didn't upload a lot. And I hopefully will be doing more movie reviews this year since we have eight Marvel movies, one DC movie. We got The Incredibles 2, which is awesome because The Incredibles is one of my favorite Pixar movies. And we're getting Jurassic World 2, we're getting uh, Infinity War, Black Panther, Deadpool, um, X-Men, we're, uh, we're getting Venom as well, Slender Man obviously, which I talked about earlier in this video. Uh, we're getting a lot of good stuff this year. I feel like this year is going to be the best year for films. I don't know uh, if it's going to be the best, you know, year, like, personally, for, you know, like, for your life, but I feel I have a feeling 2018 is going to be a good year. Uh, now, for those of you watching this on my second channel, uh, I hopefully will be collecting uh, as much Marvel Legends as I can from the following you know, how do you say this, the following Marvel Legends wave for 2018, you know, for Infinity War and whatnot, I hopefully will be trying to review as much of those waves as I can, but I don't think I'll be able to review every single action figure, so sorry about that. And stop motion wise, I don't know if I'll be releasing any stop motion films this year. I have another, or I have a Star Wars uh, stop motion plan, but I don't know when I'm going to upload that because I have yet to start filming that. So far, the only stop motions I have filmed are the Jurassic World, which I don't know when I'm going to upload because it's not even finished yet. Uh, I have I have uh, the Walking Dead stop motions, which I need voice actors for because I don't want to voice the characters all by myself. And that's pretty much all I have, so f that's all I'm filming so far. I have scripts done for a lot of my... Marvel and DC uh, films. I have scripts for a Kong stop motion, an Incredible Hulk stop motion, and whatnot. And I have a lot of stuff planned, but I don't know how long it'll take me to actually move along with those plans. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to leave a like rating, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye. Also, one last thing I want to say to you guys regarding my main channel, Comic Book Geek. Uh, I ha I am planning more ranting commentaries, some more uh, uh, top ten lists, and 
some more in-depth analysis on films I like or dislike. And this is mostly going to begin around, uh, in, within the next few weeks. Hopefully, I will upload my first video. And it's probably going to be a very, not a very controversial, but a small controversial video that might cause a slight comment war. Hopefully, it doesn't. And uh, that video is going to be called Reasons the reasons why Rogue Star Wars Rogue One sucks because uh, I watched it for the second time rec uh, recently, and I just wrote down a lot of more notes on like the pros and cons about the film. So I'll hopefully be start rec I'll hopefully start recording that um, soon and get it uploaded within the next few weeks. So maybe about like two or three weeks because I don't have that much time since school's starting again. Winter break is almost done. It's my last week. And hopefully I can get as much videos out, you know, more than last year. Hopefully. Uh, that's pretty much it. I just want to, you know, put this in for my main channel. Uh, again, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.